Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video we're going to be going over how to set up Daemon Sync. So if you don't know what Daemon Sync is, it's from the people who make Daemon Tools, the uh, ISO mounting program, or disk image mounting program, I should say, for Windows. Daemon Sync is like a, it's a super simple syncing application. The concept is you set up a server, uh, the server doesn't even have to be running on an actual server, so you can have it running on your computer and you can run it on your Mac, your Windows, your Linux server or PC and then the basic concept is you download the mobile app and if you take a picture it'll automatically sync uh, to the server. So let's get started with setting up the server. So we're using Linux and we need to click the download button. So <clears throat> You guys need to understand that Daemon Sync only works with Ubuntu and Debian officially. There isn't an AUR package, there isn't an RPM package. If you want to use the RPM or learn how to convert it, you're going to need to check the article below because we do go over certain ways you can do this. So it is possible, but it's iffy. So basically, if you need to run a Daemon Sync server, my uh, my suggestion to you is to install Docker on your server and get an Ubuntu instance running and then get this program running in it or get a VM with Ubuntu or Debian and do it that way. And then you can set up the shares and whatnot. But I'm running Debian so I can use it just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the package and get it ready to install. And the package is right here under Daemon Sync. I can click open. I think it Okay, it's not installing that way, so let's do it this way instead. Uh, in the article, I cover both ways to install with the package as well as the package manager. So just to install, you'd go sudo dpkg-i and then daemon sync and then just enter your password. It will go and install. Daemon sync is now there and then we can go to our, our browser here we can go to localhost 8084. Now this will give me a pin, which uh, anybody watching this video will be able to see the pin. But as you can see, I refresh it. Every time I refresh, it will make a new pin. So I can go into my app, and I don't know if it's got devices already. So it's already got my iPhone device right here. So now I'm going to open up the app on my phone, and I'm going to sync. It's searching for a server. And uh, I can start the syncing process right now. So my sync folder, I can go and I can add a photo. So let's sync this photo here. So the syncing has complete, as you can see, it went from never to a, to a, it's given me a date. Now we can go into settings if we're not sure where the files are and the files are located here. And of course, this can be changed to whatever you'd like it to change to. But uh, the location by default is right here, and it says Derek's iPhone, and then I can see my sync folder, and I can go to my photos. I've got a ton of pictures in here, so they all sync pretty quickly. And uh, that's how it works. Uh, that's how to get Daemon Sync running. If you'd like to stop the sync and stop the server, you can just click Stop at any time. And uh, go back to the Package Manager, and then do... Uh, sudo apt remove daemon sync purge to delete all of the files associated with it. It will uninstall. Once you do that, the system is no longer there. And uh, that's how you use daemon sync, like I said. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a really simple syncing solution. If you don't really care about the technical aspects of things like uh, rsync or even sync thing, I highly recommend this program. If you just want to move photos around, in that case. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.